One of the new innovations in GenStat 22 is the ability to easily fit a linear mix model to sensor data and obtain well-behaved and reliable estimates of the treatment means. During data collection, fixed threshold right or left censoring occurs when measurements cannot be taken above or below a bound. For example, this often occurs in chemical assays where the process cannot distinguish small amounts. Observations that fall below this minimum level of detection are therefore left censored. To illustrate the new linear mixed model menu for censored data, let's open the oats.gsh example data set. The response variable, yield, isn't actually censored, so I'm going to artificially right censor the yields at 130 for the purposes of this demonstration. Using the calculate menu, I've created a new column in the spreadsheet, yield RC, of right censored data. Here, yields greater than 130 have been set to 130, and yields less than or equal to 130 are unchanged. To analyze the censored data, we open the linear mixed models with censoring menu and fill in the y variate, fixed model, and random model fields as per usual for a Remel analysis. The y variate is yield RC, the fixed model is nitrogen crossed by variety, and the random model reflects the split plot structure of the experiment blocks, whole plots within blocks, and subplots within whole plots. Next, we supply the censoring information. We use the direction radio buttons to indicate whether the data are left or right censored. In our example, measurements cannot be taken above 130. Thus, the data are right censored. In the bound field, we give the limit above which our data is right censored. In our example, this is 130. The field Give Initial Values for Censored Y gives us the option of providing starting values. This can be useful for speeding up convergence. By default, the algorithm starts the censored values at the bound. We also have the option of supplying an indicator variable for censored observations. This is particularly important if censored observations are entered as missing values in the Y variant. We can also save the predictive Y values and a censoring indicator variable. The output and fitting process is controlled via the options menu. Let's output a description of the model, the variance components, the predicted means and their SEDs, a summary of the censoring, and the wall tests. We'll also request residual plots and a plot of the censored predictions. Let's run the analysis. Here are the residual diagnostic plots. And here is a scatter plot of the censored observations replaced by their estimates against the observed data. The output is very similar to that of the usual Remel analysis. However, at the top, we have some additional information related to the censoring. The EM algorithm used when fitting a linear mixed model to censored data converged very quickly, after just 10 iterations. We also see that 16.7% of the Y variate values are right censored at 130. In the output for the Remel analysis, you may have noticed that the response variate is new yield RC a variable not in our original data set. This is simply a copy of our response variant, yield RC, but with the censored observations replaced by their estimates. And finally, as for a Remel analysis, we have the usual save, further output, and predict menus. GenStat 22 offers many more new and exciting enhancements and features. To find out more, check out the What's New page on the Knowledge Base.